What's going on you guys, Uncle Jess here. It's been a while since I've done a resin 3D printing video and I figure we might as well take a look at some of this new resin that I just recently received from the folks over at Ceratech. As you guys know from probably some of my other videos, I'm a fan of their resin. Ceratech Blue, uh, Easy, Sculpt, they're all pretty good resins. I love, absolutely love printing with blue. Uh, this is their latest and greatest. This is called Ceratech Fast. It's a solid gray. It's a really nice light gray resin, and it's supposed to be able to print pretty fast. That's why the with, with the name there. So I'm going to run off and do a bunch of test prints here on the Elgu Mars and we'll check that out. All right, so I ran off and did a handful of test prints here with the Ceratech Fast. And the first thing I wanted to call out is that in terms of being able to print faster, yes, I was able to print actually faster with this resin than let's say the Elegu Gray resin that I have just based on the standard settings that I was be able to use. I'll list those settings here. Uh, for anybody that's also got the Elegu Mars, there is also a spreadsheet that the folks over at Ceratech have that have a bunch of different printers and their settings that if you have one of those and wanted to use this, which is also pretty cool. So one of the other things that I am in 100% agreement with that I read about this resin is that it really doesn't have a strong odor to it. And that is very true. Probably out of all of the resins that I have used, this one is the least stinky out of all of them. <laughs> there really isn't much of a stank that you get when printing with this compared to some of the other resins. So if you have a really sensitive nose or working in a space, not saying that this is still isn't probably great for you to be breathing in by any means, but it's just not as strong, pungent of a smell that you're gonna be working with when doing some of the printing. This resin is also very low in its viscosity. I think that's the right term that I'm looking for. It's really liquidy is what I'm trying to say. So it's really easy to shake up and mix together, which is nice. Some of these other resins are really thick and you have to thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly shake these things up to get them properly mixed together. This just seems like it's much easier to mix together, pour in all that good stuff. I have not tried mixing this with any other resins just yet. By the way, if you're not already doing that, Stay tuned, there'll probably be another video coming with that pretty soon. All right, so the first print that I wanted to show off is this miniature scarecrow character looking guy here from the folks over at Cast and Play. They make some really ridiculously cool miniature figures. Uh, this printed very, very quickly. I think this was uh, about a three hour print. I printed a few of these guys end up printing here. Uh, one thing to note with the resin as well is it does have a little bit of flex with it. Uh, it's not entirely stiff. So, I mean, some of these, it's got a little bit of give to it, which is nice. So I think if these actually fell or I did like a drop test with them, they're not gonna necessarily break. They're not gonna be super brittle is what I'm trying to, to get at here, which is really, really nice for a, a basic gray resin that uh, I'm printing with here. All right, this next one is a Dragon Rider from again, from the folks over at Cast and Play. This file is ridiculously cool. This is a much bigger print. This basically, the main body basically takes up the, the rock the dragon and the rider with his little staff there. Uh, this all printed on the Elgu Mars and basically maxed out the entire build volume for this printer. The wings print separately and all printed very, very nicely. I think the body itself was about 11 hours and each of the wings took about, I believe it was seven hours for each of the wings. And again, the detail this is picking up with this resin is really, really nice. I, I just think it's a really clean, nice, light gray resin here. I'll actually do, uh, towards the end of this, I'll do a comparison to maybe the Elgu gray and some of the other prints that I've had there. Also, the cure time for this was very uh, short. I mean, I didn't really need to stick that under the UV light for a very long period of time. I think I might have left it there for 10 minutes and it seemed completely cured. Uh, one thing that you will notice here is that the lance there is a little bit bent. That's just because I did not give that proper supports and when it was printing, it just it sort of started, started to collapse forward. Uh, but everything else on this print turned out absolutely spectacular. All right, next up is a character that you might not be familiar with from the Marvel Universe. This is Dupe. Looks like a pickle. 
He's a pretty interesting character here. This is actually a file created by Wexer and it is one that I never thought I'd see a 3D printable file for. I'm super excited about this. This is just such a oddball character out of the Marvel comics. This is actually one of these files that for sure I'm gonna be going back and repainting this and using my airbrush for this. I was actually able to print this fairly large. Let me find a ruler here. The stand printed separately from the character and it's about it's at 100% scale and it's almost three and a half inches tall uh, on the actual stand. So I'm pretty, again, really, really happy with the results. I mean, it's a combination of the El Gumars and this actual resin here, but very, very happy with how the results of this were turning out for such an affordable resin. And finally, we have the most diabolical character from the boys Amazon TV series. Homelander. Again, this is by Wexter. This is a cool, cool mini. He just makes some ridiculously cool mini files. Has a great Patreon. Both Cast and Play and Wexter have great Patreons that I'm active. Uh, Lee involved in and love being able to get these files and download and print them. I'll have links to both of their Patreons. If you're interested in this, this is such a, a hot, hot show right now. If you're not watching Boys, you should be. Uh, this character is so good, so, so good. Evil, very, very evil. It's just really, really clean looking print. This is exactly what you want out of a miniature or if you're printing or making statues and files like this. I mean, it just looks really cool in this nice light gray. So as I mentioned, I do a little com quick comparison here. On the left is the Elgu gray resin and on the right here is the Seartech Fast. So you can see here that this is a little bit darker of a gray this is a much lighter gray. It's almost a stone looking gray to me. It is just extremely light in comparison to this gray. I think both of them visually are very nice colors. Obviously this is just giving you a little bit different of a tone. And again here, just another comparison of the Elgu gray on a smaller file to the Sierra Tech Fast Gray Resin. All in all, I'm really liking the Fast Resin here. One thing to note, uh, if you're expecting this to be extremely fast to be able to print compared to some of the other resins that you might be working with, uh, for like an apples to apples of the Elgu Gray to the Sierra Tech Fast, it wasn't that much faster in terms of printing time based on the settings that I was using between the two resins. It might have been for when I was doing a comparison of the Homelander print here, I think it was about 30 minutes difference in print time, but exponentially speaking, maybe that's uh, maybe that gets a little bit more significant if you have much larger prints that you're taking up the full print volume of your printer. Again, if you're interested in picking up some of this for yourself, it's on sale for $40 right now for two bottles of the 500 grams each, which it gets you for 40 bucks is a thousand grams, which is pretty cool. Basically two of these bottles here and all of the prints here, I used probably about half of one bottle for all of these prints. And I actually did a few other prints that I think my kids ran off and stole as well before I filmed this. And the one thing that I'm probably most enjoying about this resin is that it again, does not have that really strong odor that you find with most other resins. So I will probably be printing a lot more with this here in the near future. And I just wanna say thanks again for watching guys. If you enjoyed this, make sure to let me know down in the comments what you thought, what kind of files you wouldn't mind seeing me print here in the near future. I'm always interested in finding other projects or Patreons to join. Uh, there's some amazing, absolutely amazing makers out there. And again, I'll make sure to have links down below to any of the files that I've listed here and their associated Patreons or social media accounts where you can find them and tag them as well. This awesome t-shirt that I picked up as well from Wexer. This thing is, it's like his miniature Iron Man, but in a t-shirt form. And again, you can anticipate me busting out my new airbrush kit in the upcoming weeks here to do some painting on some of these and probably some of the other mini files that I've run off and printed. Hey, thanks again for watching you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye now.